Okay, time to get back to work. I cut down... Uh, as you, let's get this out of the way. I managed to cut these down. Oh, I gotta remove this because it's strapped. Because I sh it's the right thing to do. To safeguard yourself whenever doing things if you don't have a second hand. I had this tape that served the purpose of having a second hand. Oh boy, I don't want to come out. <laughs> it doesn't really want to come out. One, two, three. Boom. Okay, so now this tape came in handy. I saved it, believe it or not. What is it? A, a, a tape from what? From tiramisu. Look, my tiramisu uh, tape worked really good to help me hold things in place. Okay, so now I'm going back to, oh boy, did I cut the wrong plate pieces? Sure hope not. Yeah. All right, so let me get my gloves just to protect my hands. <sighs> back breaking time okay so now i'm screwing this in i didn't even look to make sure it was in the right place but i'm sure it is because it is it is screwing right okay so this is nice and tight this one over here this one has to screw it just came off when i did it so let's see if it's showing the area so now i'm just going to screw this over here I'm so excited. I can't believe it. It's going to go right through the doorway. I have to cut these poles because I love that this is huge and it would fit in the room, but it would not fit through the doorway. And the whole idea of getting this done is to stack things up on these shelves while my contractor is working on the house because it's my responsibility to move things and not his. So that's how you tighten that up. And uh, now you're probably going to see me. I'm not going to probably show you my face. But since this is the last one that I did, it has uh, the tape up there. I guess for memoirs, maybe I should leave it as a memoir, right? Leave the tape as a memoir. See? Packaging material. <laughs> Came in pretty handy. Okay, last but not least, let me make sure everything's coming out here. Last but not least, I'm going to go on that side, put my gloves back on, only because it's kind of rough on my hands, and that's why men have rough hands, uh, because they're pretty much abused, right? They're put to work, uh, but women's hands are supposed to be nice and soft, and uh, not that I got anybody to compliment me on that, but I do like to maintain my femininity, okay? Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm getting tight, hold it from the bottom. Boom. All right, so by the way, if you ever want to loosen these things up, just hammer it up, hammer it up on each corner and then loosen it up as you do it, hold it like this. Uh, but this is a good shelf. So now I got the right shelves, okay? Uh, see, I put the bins there. I put the bin there to make sure it fits. Three bins could be could fit easily on the first two sh sh bottom shelves. The third, bot the third shelf, watch how I'm going to do this, okay? I'm going to go get another size bucket because I'm a prepper, by the way. So we're done with, with, with sizing it up for, for um, what do you call it? Uh, the bins, right? I could, I, it could easily fit six bins. I don't know why this is so crooked. I could easily fit six bins on the bottom two shelves, okay? Uh, which, to be honest with you, I didn't need the bottom shelf because I could put it on the floor. But the good thing is I could just roll it out. So maybe that's the purpose, right? So I, I, got, I could put six bins in here, the bottom two. The top one, I'm going to make it to merely be able to fit just a square or a rectangular kind of bucket, okay? Let's see if... My phone could hold. Okay, so now I'm gonna size it up according to that. 
So here we go. Let's see where I put all the caps. All right, I feel like a contractor here. Making it happen, baby. Giving it a go. Where is my bucket? Where is a uh, where did I put it at? I don't know. Can't find anything, can I? It's probably in the bottom here. Yeah, and it is. Okay, so see, I actually save these as packaging material. I'm not sure I'm gonna use them. I think I'm gonna to stick to the Mylar bags, putting the Mylar bags in a bucket like this, but food grade, which is white like this. I don't know if can I let's see if the camera is no the camera is not showing what I was doing so I'm not I'm not gonna readjust the camera so we'll take a loss on what I just tried to show you. So I'm just showing you this this right I, I say I stock up on stuff like this just in case I need it. And I could use it, I could actually use this as a funnel. I could just open this and funnel things in very easily. Quite frankly, not a bad idea. I could put a hose here. I could I could do I could do a, a homemade toilet and a hose could easily fit here. I don't know if you could see this. A hose could easily fit here, and then it will be flexible to come out of here. I, I could actually show you an idea. Let's see if I could see and show this. Okay, so I put this here, right? I put this here low enough. Hold on. Low enough that I can make a toilet out of this, right? It'll hold here. When I sit, my front part is on this. This is going to be open, right? And then the uh, down over here at the bottom part, uh, show you. This is where where it, the the bottom part fits. Then I will make a hole here. Do I see my finger here? Make a hole here and put a, uh, a hose here that will go straight into another bottle. And uh, the holes, uh, yeah. So I really would like, I probably instead, this is what I would do. I would probably cut this off, all right? All I need to do is cut this off. In fact, I'm gonna do it right in front of you. Yeah, I'm going hopping from one project to another. So, I'll just cut this, right? I'll cut it from here. Ah! Oh boy, Felice. That's my name, Felice. You got that. All right, so I could cut it right from, the, from here, right? I'm cutting it. <laughs> All right, so you see this? So now I'm going to cut this, right? I'm going to start my little toilet. My little toilet. Pop, pop, uh, bedroom toilet. Because you know what? I want to get used to doing things as if I were living outside of my home. Okay? So I just cut this, right? So what I would do is I will, I will put, hang this over here right if you see this so this is where this is where where it is right okay so now the pointy part would end here okay so the pointy part would end here i would make a hole here attach the holes from the inside of this right from the inside and the hose is now attached to the bottle and then it'll come out and now apparently it would have to be a wide thing because there's not a hole it's not a very large space from here on down to hold a few urines unless i want to just empty it out right because if i'm home i could easily empty it out after each use okay so this is a toilet this is how i'm going to do it see put this right here and then over here I'm going to put a little hole here, a little hole on the opposite side, 
and I'm going to have sort of like a fishing net. The fishing net's going to have a bag, and my number two is going to go on that bag. And my urine is going to go in here, and it's going to filter out through the funnel. That That's for another project, okay? So I have a lot of projects that I'm going to be working on, okay? And um, I could always make plenty of these funnels. So if it goes bad, so what? Right? No biggie. No biggie, no biggie. Okay. So now I'm going to resume with my projects. Okay. Now I'm putting this here. I think I'm going to make it big enough for this. So that way, that way both of these buckets would fit. Let me go see if I can make this a little more. Okay. Okay, so now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna size up the shelves accordingly so I could accommodate these size buckets. Okay, and here we go. So I'm gonna use this bucket instead because this one's a little taller. And I want to accommodate both. One is slightly taller than the other. So I'm going to accommodate it to fit uh, this. Okay. So you see where it fits. You see the, the line. Okay. So I'm going to put the stoppers there. Whatever you call them. Stoppers. Okay. So here we go. Project number two. Well, I already did a lot yesterday, but I couldn't fit it. So... And not being able to fit it in through the doorway, I had to stop. But I'm glad that this time I'm, I'm filming it, right? So, let me just show you some stuff, okay? So, if you're doing it yourself, you know, we females, we're not used to doing this. I'm not, uh, and I need to start. So, I'm going to clasp this together so it could stop where I want it to, to stop, okay? So, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it if the camera is showing it. But, here we go. So it stops here, as you can see, right above the bucket. So I'm going to do it, do the same on each corner, and then I'm going to drop a shelf there, okay? So here we go. Corner number two. <laughs> Crying out loud, my goodness. This thing is not... All right, so, great, everything's falling apart here. All right, so remember, it's got a face up, face up, it's going to clasp to the, get together. So, as you can see, it's slightly, huh, these don't seem very much the same size, my goodness. Over here, here, over here, I'm going to pinch, okay. Wait a minute, are these both aligned per perfectly? Let me see. Up and up, okay? Why does it seem so much higher in the other one? Uh, I'm gonna have to make it slightly higher. Oh boy. I mean, I cut it from the top, so it really should be leveling the same, quite frankly, if you ask me. Weird. Oh boy, these shelves are not going to be perfect, and I don't understand why because I cut it from the top. I cut all of them from the top. It should not affect. Uh, maybe, maybe this didn't screw in perfectly. Because they should be equally leveled. They were cut from the top, not from the bottom, so it's not like they like they should be crooked. And the only thing I could think of is I make sure that they're. I mean, this one over here. Lady's hiding. Maybe, maybe the, uh, I'm going to 
to screw it. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't be able to get this right now. I screwed it out. Now I don't know if I could get it in. Ready, tidy. Yeah, pretty loosey. Okay. This is what somebody told me before. I'm sure I hope. Okay, now they're looking more, yeah, the same. Okay, so now it's even, okay? So now I'm going to do the same thing. And let me make sure that the camera can capture the other sides. Okay. So I'm using this bucket to, to level it. And of course, this over here is just to hammer these shelves up if I need to loosen them so I could remove them. Okay, and adjust them. Let me just make sure the camera can capture this. Just move it up a little bit more. Okay, so this I want to size everything to this bucket. Okay, and leave a little extra wiggle room. Why? Because sometimes they don't snap closed. And sometimes, um, so see, top. Where's the camera here? Top, top. Got to follow the arrow. You see the arrow right here? Top. Even if you can't see it. You could see it when, when you're holding it in person, okay? So, I clasp it. That's a little higher than the other one. So it's just slightly higher. Um, so it'll go in. It, it may be a little bit of a struggle for it to go in. But I could always put the lid in when I'm under here because it's going to be the shelf. And the shelf is going to have a little awning. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll deal with it later. Okay. Uh, So just to be sure, it looks pretty straight to me, okay? From one side to the other, okay. It looks it's looking good to me. All right. So last but not least, and let me make sure that you can see this angle, okay? Uh, maybe from afar because i got to catch it. Okay, so now, again, up, up. Okay? And the shelves always got to go in the direction it tells you, even if you don't like it. Okay, let me show you something about these shelves. Okay. You see this shelf, how it has a little lever leverage here? I really would prefer this to be on the top, so that way things don't spill easily. But it's built to, to, to capture this equally. And I'm not going to defy what it's telling me. If I want a little edge here to catch things that I'm putting here, there's a pro and con, right? For everything, uh, it's good because you could just slip things out. But sometimes you want that little lever there because um, the top shelf is going to be for small things like jars or whatever. And it's going to be crowded up there and it would be nice to have this lever because when I'm moving the thing, it'll catch everything. If anything tilts by accident. Okay. So now, here we go. But I'm going to respect the science. I'm not an engineer. Uh, I think maybe I should move this back a little bit more. Okay. So now, I'm moving this over here. So we could see the lever. And it says top, top, right? Small difference. Over here, but a little bit tighter than here. I don't know why. I think it has to do with how I screwed it down. Um, maybe this one is not screwed down as much as it should be. And I should check on that with my gloves. Because if it's not leveled to perfection, then it's because one is tighter, screwed down tighter than the other. So I just want to make sure, just so you can see what I'm doing here. I mean, they're both equally tight. 
I'm not going to fuss over that. Okay, so now I'm going to stand on my chair so you could see me, what I'm doing, right? And uh, see if I could tilt this upward so you could see everything that I'm doing. See if I could almost point at the ceiling. Does it really point at the ceiling? I don't think so. I don't have the gist of this thing. I don't, I don't think. Uh, let's see something. How far does it go? So I could do it this way. Uh, okay. So I could do it this way. Except I can't see what I'm doing. I would have to do it this way. Okay. All right. It works. So now you're going to see what I'm doing. You can't see from both. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to tighten this up so you can see me with my little performance. Oh, okay. Hopefully this will hold. Okay. Boom. Now, I'm going to climb up one of my high chairs. we go. Climbing up on one of my high chairs. One, two, three. Boom. And this thing is really high. I mean, high to the ceiling. And, and, and I cut a lot of it off. So this is quite interesting, huh? Okay, so the shelf part goes down. Grab it like your Spider-Man. And I wish I could defy the way it wants me to do it, but it doesn't work. Because I've had to dismantle it and start all over again. Oh, I've had to dismantle it. Ooh. Okay. Right, so, see? so now, if it's perfectly, there's a little bit of room here, even for a lid, but this is a lip here, so I could stick the lid here and attach it through here, worst case scenario. It can't be overflowing much, but it really has, let me just show you. Okay. So as you can see, there's a big gap here, right? But the gap between here and here is a lot smaller. So that's what I was talking about. Inside, the gap is a lot bigger, but it shrinks to here because there's a lip here. Okay? That's what I was referring to earlier. All right, so I'm going to do the next one. Now I got to size the top one. Now what do I want to size it to? Right? So this one takes these size gallons. I could actually afford to make it slightly smaller like for these three inch okay so this is slightly smaller than this so at least I have it all organized right and what goes on what shelf right okay so we're ready okay so let me zoom out no zoom out no zoom zoom out no zoom in okay so now I'm going to film it from this angle here. Oops, excuse me. All right, so now, uh, uh, wow, how is it that I ran out of these packets? This is a, this is kind of something's going on here. I only have one more. I am missing something. I don't have enough of this. This is very weird. How could I run out? Don't know. Oh my goodness. This is really weird. I'm supposed to have enough for each corner. And I did have enough for each corner because I built it yesterday. So where could I have put I'm gonna have to pause this while I look. Um Not under. So I got my extra. Okay. All right. So now we begin. Right. So let's 
see if I could still see where I'm working. What is that? This is what I'm working at right here. It's not high enough. Because we're going higher and higher, right? Higher, higher, and higher. And then the last shelf goes up. And I'm going to have an extra shelf, which is good because I could probably use it for drawing things outside. <laughs> you know? I mean, because it's still... I can hang something and it'll dry up. All right. This thing is not staying. But you can see what I'm doing. All right. So, remember, top pointing up. They both have to be pointing up with the arrow. And then I clasp it like this around uh, the pole, okay? So, quite frankly, I might as well make it all the way to the top. Um, yeah, I might as well make it all the way up to the top. Because there's not a whole lot of wiggle room. Um, yeah, I'm going to make this the last shelf, so here we go. It, it, the sizing doesn't matter now at this point. It's not like I have a whole lot of room here. Back up. Make sure. You can't see these things too good. Okay. I have no choice. No, no, no worry about sizing here because it's a top one and it's not like you have all that much room. So my project so far, I'm very satisfied that I did this by myself. Typically, I would get a man, oh, let a man do it. I need a man to do it. Oh, I need to hire a man. What I needed sometimes is like extra hands. But a lot of these things don't require a whole lot of strength. It's just brains, right? So here we go. So now let's see. Now I'm going to put the top shelf as a finale. I'm going to climb my high chair. And you will see me up there in a minute so i'm gonna have an extra shelf uh but that's because the purpose of this is to accommodate my storage uh, my storage bins and buckets and uh i love this shelf this is like the best investment that i could i could remember doing it's the best investment okay so here we go Oh, I'm gonna wait, Felice. You're going ahead of yourself. Don't go ahead of yourself. Beautiful. Bang! It's in. So I cut everything from the top, but you know what? You could hardly tell because I put these little tabs up on the top. Uh, there's extra room here, so I could put this bucket. And I'm going to see if I could put a bin up there, too, because you never know, right? Let's see if I could put a bin up there. But bins are pretty heavy. Oh, look at that. I could, fit a, I could fit a bin. I could fit all sizes up here. So this is the one-size-fits-all shelf right there. So I hope that you, you have found this instrumental. I'm glad that I filmed the second part. I didn't film... When I did the first couple of shelves, there's the second shelf, there's the bottom shelf down there, uh, third shelf, you see the little whatever with the measuring tape, and then over here, and then way at the top, there's a shelf there, so I'm not going to waste that shelf up there, um, I'm actually going to put boxes up there that are not that high, uh, with smaller items, maybe my, my vitamin boxes, etc. Thank you for watching. It has been a pleasure and have yourself a wonderful day.